Hello everybody and welcome to part 6 in our video set on questions on the text and on text analysis. In this video we're going to tell you how to answer the question what the author's attitude towards the topic of the text is. Now basically when you are confronted with this question then you first of all you have to find proof and evidence in your particular text whether you have an objective author or a subjective author. If your author is objective, he or she will try to avoid any personal comment. He will give you both pros and cons on the topic and he will just try to give you as much information maybe as possible so that you, the reader, can come up with your own opinion. If, however, your author is subjective, then he or she will give you his or her personal opinion. And if your author is subjective, then you have to do some more work. You have to find out and again find evidence in the text whether your author voices the opinion explicitly. That means that he or she just says it loud and writes it down, so that's the easy part. Or implicitly and that's a lot more work. Now if you have an author that voices opinion implicitly then look at the choice of words. Is the tone positive or is the tone negative and write this down in your answer of course. Maybe there is irony in the text and irony always tells you something about the personal opinion of somebody. So maybe there are rhetorical questions. And wouldn't you agree that rhetorical questions are a great way to manipulate somebody and to give you somebody's opinion? Well, if you just thought, oh yes, he's right, then hey, that was a rhetorical question and I can continue this game. Um, wouldn't you agree? No, that was another rhetorical question. So rhetorical questions always tell you something about the personal opinion of the, of the person who actually asks the question. Das komplette Video und noch eine ganze Menge mehr gibt's über unsere Homepage www.bildunginteraktiv.com. Dort klickt ihr bitte auf die Kategorie Prüfungsvorbereitung Englisch und dort haben wir viele Videos für euch, zum Beispiel zu den Themen Listening Comprehension, Mediation, Cartoon Analysis. Wir erklären euch, wie man im Englischen einen Cartoon am besten analysiert. Wir haben Writing Comments, Writing Compositions, wie drücke ich meine eigene Meinung im Englischen am besten aus, Analyzing Stylistic Devices, wir erklären euch die wichtigsten Stilmittel, die es im Englischen gibt und vor allem erklären wir euch auch, wie man diese interpretieren muss. Wir haben Text Analysis, hier geht es zum Beispiel um Erzählperspektive und den Erzähler und dann erklären wir euch noch, wie man die Kommas im Englischen setzt. Also probiert's gleich aus unter www.bildunginteraktiv.com.